to enjoy more September weather here in yeah. November. I think we hit the weather jackpot, if nothing else. Uh, over the next uh, week or so, we continue to have an exceptionally mild. Ben, I want the jackpot jackpot though. Yeah. You'd rather have uh, that? I'll, I'll, I'll even take, I'll snow. take some rain. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'll, take, I'll take a tornado <laughs> through the backyard. Yeah, well, <laughs> Colleen and I need the rain in Hillier too, especially. It was a very dry October, one of the 10 wet, driest, and uh, that dry pattern will continue even with a little bit of rain this weekend. Look at the highs this week. This is starting with November 1st. We were in the mid 60s, and then we worked our way up into the mid 70s today, and we'll be around 76 tomorrow afternoon. We're getting close to record territory. 75, only three degrees off the record high for the day, which was 78 in 1987, a balmy 50 degrees early this morning. And what a gorgeous night, 12 straight uh, football Friday nights with fair skies and dry weather. Mr. Reuter Tower, camera live look over Columbus. It's just gorgeous out there. Didn't even need a jacket up until maybe an hour ago. 64 degrees, southeast wind at eight. And you can see the dividing line is this powerful cold front. The zone of contrast is where we're getting strong to severe storms from near St. Louis down to Texas. We've had tornado warnings uh, across the southern end and even some thunder near Chicago. Of course, the Buckeyes are playing in Evanston, Illinois tomorrow, and that low is going to kick up a lot of wind. Denver had two to five inches of snow today, first measurable snow of the season. And there is that storm tomorrow. So this is going to bring 30 to 40 mile an hour winds. That will be the big story tomorrow. So this is the giant seesaw, cold air plunges in the west, warm air rises in the east. And there won't be much of an eastward shift in that pattern. Now, I am concerned that any line of showers and isolated storms tomorrow evening could produce some strong gusty winds, mainly over the western part of the state, but early evening cooling, which occurs, of course, sooner in November than it does say in the summertime, should knock down the instability, and there won't be that much of it. But we still have a wind advisory tomorrow, especially west of I-71, gusts to 40 miles an hour, maybe a little bit higher than that associated with that southwesterly flow ahead of low pressure. It's in the upper 50s north, 64 in Columbus, but it has cooled to 57 at Piketon. Look at the highs today, 82 at St. Louis, but only in the 30s in Denver. So again, you can see a very active zone, a lot of energy for weather. It's going to be windy also in Evanston, 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts. Notice temperatures drop, but the rain ends at kickoff, and we drop from 60 to about 52 degrees by the fourth quarter. So here's your pinpoint forecast. We'll time out the showers for the day on Saturday. Uh, we start off with sunshine, clouds increase. If we do get to 77, that would be a record high. 76 is the record. Sprinkles or light showers in the evening, some rain and thunder early tomorrow night. After midnight, we clear and Sunday looks great. A little bit cooler though. It will be a bit cooler behind that cold front, not only Sunday, but early next week. But we're talking 60s, so that's not bad. 59 degrees overnight, breezy and very, very mild. Now check out this forecast. Again, the winds pick up tomorrow. Don't forget that wind advisory. Secure any outdoor furniture on the patio in the morning or deck. Get that inside. You don't want it to wind up in your neighbor's yard. Of course, the leaves are going to take off in the afternoon, so you may want to try to scoop those up. Clearing on Sunday and even next week, we're still in the 60s, back to 70 on Thursday. Of course, election day is going to be great, 65 degrees, fair weather. And then we get that extra hour of sleep on Sunday. We might break our string of 12 perfect football Friday nights with a chance for a shower next Friday. Okay, well, it'll be fine with rain on one football. <laughs>